Arguably the most powerful function of Adobe Illustrator is the creation and modification of vector objects. Because of the resolution independent characteristics, vector objects can be moved, modified, even copied and pasted between projects and programs while maintaining 100% of the details and clarity. Because of this, vector graphics are the number one choice for creating artwork that will be used in various sizes and media including print, online, video, and more. Various tools can be used to create vector objects, but one of the most common and most versatile is the pen tool. Lines drawn by the pen tool are called paths. These paths are made up of straight and curved segments that are separated and controlled by anchor points. The simplest path you can create is a straight line and it is as easy as clicking to create anchor points where you want the line to begin and end. Continuing to click will make new anchor points and extend your automatically connected path. To close a path, navigate back to the starting anchor point. When you are positioned correctly, a small circle will appear next to your pen tool. When this insignia is present, clicking will close your path. Conversely, to leave a path open for later additions and edits, you can command click or control click on a PC anywhere away from existing objects. Furthermore, going to the anchor point at either end of an open path and clicking it will again pick up that path. The pen tool will notify you of correct placement by displaying a slash next to your pointer. The pen tool is not limited to drawing straight paths. Clicking and dragging out from an anchor point will reveal direction lines that can be used to force a path to curve. These lines have a gravitational effect on the resulting path, with their slope and length dictating the shape of the curve. Curved anchor points follow a universal direction, so the lead direction line will dictate the direction of the resulting curve. This means that dragging in a continuing clockwise or counterclockwise direction will create a rounded C-shaped curve whereas dragging in the same direction as the previous anchor point will create an S-shaped curve. Straight paths and curved paths can be combined and switched between easily by employing the Convert Anchor Point tool. This tool can be accessed in the toolbar or can be called up with the pen tool selected by pressing the Alt or Option key or by hovering over a selected anchor point until you see the Convert Anchor Point insignia next to your pointer. This will let you drag out direction lines from corner points or remove them from smooth points. Using this tool on a direction line itself will also give you individualized direction line control. There are a few other general tips to keep in mind when using the pen tool. Hovering over an unselected anchor point will default to the subtract anchor point tool. This will remove the clicked anchor point and the path between its surrounding points will remain intact. Also, placed anchor points can be repositioned as you draw them by holding down the mouse button along with the space bar. This will allow you to drag the anchor point to your desired position. Anchor points that have already been placed can be moved with the direct selection tool. Though the pen tool and its related family of tools can be tricky to get the hang of, mastering their techniques will drastically improve your ability to create quality vector-based work.